So today we're working on a 1998 Chevy Venture. It's a nice hot day here in Arizona and uh, the buses are horny. Uh, we're working on a code P0405. It has to do with the EGR valve and we also had a code P0171 and this 171 is a lean like I talked about in the you know which oxygen sensor and the catalytic converters all that video I just did. Um, but anyway, we're looking into the EGR valve and we found that we had 5 volt reference, we had everything we needed. Um, we went ahead and replaced the valve and then only after replacing the valve, my bad, we discovered we didn't have a ground. So as it turns out, this is the way the wiring diagram looks like on your uh, EGR valve. And it's kind of retarded because you have, I wrote delta, <laughs> we love to fly and it shows. So we have A, B, C, D, and E on the plug. When you look at the plug, there's five pins, one, two, three, four, five, and they're labeled like this. So you can just go down the list, and from your wiring, wiring diagram, you can determine what your stuff's supposed to be. So our first one, A, is 33.2 millivolts when we probe it, and it's a control wire. And so that's fine and great. So moving right along, we go to B, and we look at the brown and it's not ground but you know what it is it's 33.2 millivolts I wonder where that got, came from I wonder how that wound up being that basically these two are tied together at some point and so we had to figure that out we checked the other ones and they're checking out okay but these two got married somewhere along the way and furthermore the wires got stuck together so we're going to pause the video here in just a minute. I'm going to get a laser and we're going to show you with the laser what we did to find where the problem was. And we're going to show you carnage. <laughs> going on an EGR hunt. Got my gun, got my bow. Where is that mofo? <laughs> so pull off that cover and throw it in the trash. Throw off the other idiot hood. Throw it in the trash. Peel off the little seal. We already did that. We staged this. So here's our EGR valve. It's back in here. Um, we did just recently replace it. This van's got 170,000 miles. The most common cause for a P0405 is a bad EGR valve and I thought that it was shorted on the inside and so that's why we replaced it. I probably could have done a little better homework on that. My bad as I said before. So you look at some of these wires that are kind of uh, bent together, you know, they match, they're parallel to each other, um, but they're not stuck together. All of the wires, all five of these coming off of the EGR valve were stuck together. Had to peel them apart like it was some kind of string cheese or some kind of, you know, like those Twizzlers licorice candies where you peel them off. It had to do that. So it was all housed in this one. I had to uh, take off all the tape and follow the wire back. And so as I'm following the wire around and peeling these wires apart, all of a sudden I come across a splice. Ha ha! I bet it's this one. This is your 5 volt reference splice where you have one wire going in, three wires coming up. And that's a 5 volt reference that goes to, um, you know, other, I didn't look at the wire diagram, but I would assume it goes to the uh, throttle position sensor and, you know, other related sensors. So we keep going. So we pass this one, so it's separate, and we're down to four wires. So we're following our four wires, and we're getting down here. And of course, I cheat. I go ahead and look ahead and see if I can keep from having to take more of this uh, stinking loom apart. So I go across here and look and see the computer's inside of the air filter box here. So with the computer being inside of there, I'm going to you know do a little bit of a shortcut. So I do that a little bit, and remember, our red wire is fine and one of our brown wires is stuck to one of our gray wires so we're down to these three because we don't know which brown wire is which we kind of do because we have the 33.2 volts on the one that's stuck to it but we're not going to poke it full of holes because we're going to have to go that way anyway so we're going along here and what do we find dun, dun, dun. lots of carnage look at all that copper that's exposed there so we were wondering how in the world do you get these two wires married into each other? How do you get them sharing? Well that's how you do it. You have a fan run on it and once the fan runs on it, let me put some light on that so you can see some detail here. But once, is that showing? Yeah, let the, the light here, sir. Yeah, Spanky's got a bead on that. 
There, that's better. So all of these wires are exposed, and we didn't blow any fuses. I'm say, I'm guessing that probably two or three of those are severed apart, and that's probably where our code 171 is coming from. Um, but our, our mystery ground is probably severed off, if I had to guess, and then aside from being severed, you've got copper that's uh, going across and bridging and causing our um, brown ground wire, you know, further up at the plug to be having the same voltage. I was telling the owner, it's like if one of your kids is covered in red paint and then the other kid comes in and he's covered in red paint too but won't say where it came from, you can bet you know it came from the other kid or whatever they were doing and they were in cahoots. You know, 33.2 millivolts isn't a real common signal. You won't find that on all of the wires. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and just start patching these things uh, one by one, color by color and uh, we should have a fix. Dun, da, da. And we do have a fix. That is one happy running van now. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to see more videos like this, click subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to click like. If you learned something, if it helped you, uh, do that. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.